trying to prevent World War III. I'm not saying I'm getting here. No. Something worse. I gather you have an interest in a certain Russian national. Mike's bring me in. You really want to know? He can communicate with the future. Time travel? No. Inversion? Name it and pull the trigger. You're not shooting the bullet. You're catching it. Oh. Well, I've seen too much. Well, we'll try and keep up. Your duty transcends national interests. This is about survival. It seems bold. Bold, I'm fine with it. I thought you were going to say nuts. This is where our worlds collide. How would you like to die? Old. You chose the wrong profession. Well, that from here. Hasn't happened yet. There are people in the future who need us. Who need a tenant. We need to save them here and now. This reversing the flow of time. Doesn't us being here now mean it never happened? You want to crash a plane, but not from the air. No, it's so dramatic. Well, how big a plane? That part is a little dramatic. Oh my God, there you go. The new trailer for Tenet. Uh, John, David, uh, more questions, maybe a few more answers, but uh, what an amazing, uh, what an amazing epic film. Uh, tell me, I mean, what was your reaction when you saw that trailer? Because you obviously, you know, spent a long time filming this thing, but the way they, yeah. you know, the way it's cut together and the, and the, the, the sort of the, the questions that it's prompting, um, what was your reaction when you saw it? Um, I was overwhelmed with, with joy. Um, uh, disbelief suspended in that. Um, uh, uh, I was admiring how well the beard was kept up. <laughs> um, but uh, really, it, it's just, you know, it's interesting because there are just little, you know, nuggets of um, information and just breadcrumbs of information about the movie that I was surprised that he was going to reveal. And um, I, I love that he did. And um, it's just, I, you know, being a fan, a huge fan of Christopher Nolan, this seems like you know, we're familiar with his films. We obviously know his films, but this seems like something different. It seems like this is where he's about to take us for the next 10 to 15 years of filmmaking. The scale and the epicness of it, that's what just blows me away to see all those different countries. And, and for you, I, I assume you sort of had a world tour in a way. Uh, it looks like, I mean, you were in India, Italy, like all these different places. Mm -hmm. um, so you, you really filmed in all those locations, right? Yeah, we were there from, you know, Tallinn, Estonia to Mumbai, India, Amalfi Coast, uh, Copenhagen. We, it, it was, it was, and uh, to me, it just gives all, it gives the film so many different personalities. There's, there's an international um, um, uh, environment that's set with these characters that they're placed in. And, you know, what you saw is where we were. It's not, uh, yeah. it's not green screened. You know, we had, we had some cameras out there and we filmed it and at these beautiful locations and uh, sort of in these interesting sort of, uh, alien like looking planet looking places as well so it, it was um it, it, which gave it gave me more motivation to like just give it my all because of the set pieces and where we are and we're so detailed and and specific to the story that we're trying to tell you know and when you when you watch the trailer i recommend highly recommend watching it again and again you get more answers you get more answers you know Oh, I just said there, there, every little line of dialogue, I'm sure, has to be, you know, kind of reverse engineered and dissected. There's a lot going on in this film, like you would expect from Christopher Nolan, but the, the epicness matched with, you know, such an interesting narrative and 
huge stunt sequences, action sequences. Um, uh, yeah. I, I wanted to ask you about that because from a stunt perspective, I mean, you're doing things that are not supposed to be humanly possible. And I mean, it's just right. like the reverse first repelling or whatever you call that. Um, I don't know how much you can share about what's really going on there, but I, how did you film those things? Um, uh, Chris and Hoyta von Hoyta had a camera and, uh, and we, and we, <laughs> and, and they yelled action and cut. No, but like it, it was, it was some of the moves that we were doing, especially those hand to hand sequences and uh, the physicality of it all. Some of our, our stunt guys, George Cottle and company, you know, they've never done some of these moves before. They, they were sort of inventing them for this movie specifically. So it's so exciting that, um, that uh, we were, were going to be able to introduce this, you know, new style of fighting, this new style of combat, you know what I mean? And um, again, to be seen in a theater, in a movie, on a big movie screen, it's going gonna, it's, it's, yeah. it's gonna to be so vibrant. Oh my God, I'm telling you. No, and, and again, this, what I love about this film too is that it's, it's going to be thought provoking. I think, you know, it's the thing you want to experience with your friends, talk about afterwards and pull apart. Yes. And I'm sure even as you yes. guys were filming, you were trying to kind of, you know, understand all oh. the layers of this because again like every what we day. see is only the surface <laughs> every day I, I was bugging every day i had questions for him you know and uh and but he, he was very gracious and he answered them very calmly and patiently with me uh he, he uh it was important that uh we were able to track the, uh, the actors track the story correctly so we can tell it the best way we could and uh so he was very patient with us and I say that very politely. <laughs> well, 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 you're lucky that you get to get to text Chris Nolan when you have a question about the film. The rest of us just have to carefully dissect the trailer and go to Reddit right. to try and understand what's really <laughs> going on there. But I gotta say, it's like so many hints, and that's what we love. I think is like you know slowly peeling back the layers of this, um, but right, still right. having such an interesting, um, heartfelt story that I'm sure is at the core of this film, like all of his work. Um, right. And yeah, it's 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 so exciting to to get a glimpse at this. Um, the, the airplane sequence at the end uh, of the trailer, that was completely unexpected. I didn't know we were going to see that or that was even in the film. Um, yeah. how, is that like a practical effect with like a real 747? Yeah, that, that was a real plane out, and that was a real building that they crashed that plane into. And we, you know, cast and crew all witnessed it. It was epic, you know, it was, it was incredible. And, uh, you know, we all cheered and, and hurrayed and hurrahed uh, when they yelled cut after Chris felt like he got it. So, um, uh, yeah, that what you saw is really what happened. At well, least the night uh, I was there. <laughs> I, no, I got to say, uh, the scale of this looks absolutely incredible. Uh, we all can't wait to see it. And I think I speak for everyone here in Fortnite um, with being so honored that, you know, you and Chris decided to bring Tenet first to Fortnite to show the world Fort this Dorm. way. <laughs> Not no, this that. is, uh, again, we're making history. And uh, thank yeah. you so much, John David, for, for, for joining us. You made it into a video game, finally. I did it. Um, did it. Hopefully the first of many. Oh, <laughs> I hope so. hope so. I hope so. Awesome. All right, John David Washington, thanks for joining us. Thanks again to John David Washington. And before I go, there is one final surprise. This summer, we will be screening an iconic Christopher Nolan full-length feature film right here on the big screen. Stay tuned for more details.